guys, I'm over here to Fur Master Gyms, and before we get started, I want to show you this right here. This is what we call a Labrador mosquito trap. <laughs> you know, I'm just joking. That's a Labrador mosquito trap right there. <laughs> well, actually, I think Jim got one here. Yeah, yeah. We sell everything in this uh, little shop here in Goose Bay, right from this little trap, which is a just a novelty, I guess, a keychain thing, a replica of a uh, Victor Double Long Spring. Right up to that uh, number 16 uh, uh, beer trap. Got everything in between, everything a uh, trapper would need actually. Uh, right from, you know, skinning supplies, trapping supplies, snares. Yeah, if uh, you're a trapper, anything you want, you can get it here. Yes, indeed. Everything, everything that, uh, that Fur Harvesters uh, has, Trans Canada Trap Line there, we, we, we supply everything. Well, guys, I guess the big news story in the fur industry the year was uh, the collapse of NAFA. And with that, I guess, you know, all the fur harvesters, Debo's, this year will probably be receiving record amounts of fur. And so we're over here to Fur Master Jim's Depot here in Goose Bay to give it a hand. Getting ready to ship out, but looks like he's still tagged. And so, man, what poles and poles of fur. Mm -hmm. be rich after this, Jim. <laughs> That depends. Uh, Price and Martin got to be up for that to happen, but uh, I got uh, uh, transfer here now. We're just taking them up. And yes, we them. got the Labrador Mad Trapper in the shed here as well. So it's been a busy, uh, busy last few days, I must admit. Uh, putting the barcode on for so uh, just speed things up up at fur harvesters, and I can uh, check that. Just look at that number. Look through all of these find exactly who owns that fur. Yeah, and wherever that fur goes to get scanned, you'll be able to tell yeah, exactly yeah, what exactly. trapper cut that fur. Speeds up the whole process. That's a light one. Most of them are dark, but this is a lighter one. That's a good one because it's not bought out so much, tree. Right?
your trunk. There's a little advantage to being a cameraman, too. <laughs> one over there. Oh, that's perfect. Yep, that'll fit. That's all fur in those boxes here in those bags. That's the gun guy right there. Get any troubles with your gun? This is the fellow you goes to right here. Look, <laughs> gun guy. He's giving you free advertising. Free advertisement. Okay. Oh, it's a deal on the next. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal on the next cleaning? <laughs> <laughs> Couple of fellows that helped me uh, load the fur. Of course, everyone knows Big Land, Big Land Trapper, and most people in our area, especially Goose Bay, knows uh, Young Trent, up and coming trapper. Of course, Labrador Mad yeah, trapper. Labrador Mad Trapper. Here we go. <laughs> oh, a little bit mad, but... <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, getting ready to head back with uh, another load of wood there and uh, I just wanted to mention before I go that uh, I forgot to ask Jim actually how many Merton he had and I, I think it's somewhere maybe around the, the 2500 area. Uh, I know after we shipped those out he still had a few more come in and uh, with that being said you know I think there's a few trappers that's holding off till next year's auction and there's some trappers that uh, never went at it so hard as he did any other year just because there's so much uncertainty in the market right now in regards to fur with the collapse of NAFA and the amount of fur is going to be in the market and all this kind of stuff so some some trappers held back for for next year's auction uh, they won't even know if that's a right a right decision or a wrong decision until next year <laughs> until see if that auction goes right so it's a, it's a chance I guess they're willing to take and I also want to mention you know that uh, one man's loss is another man's gain and I really do feel bad for all the NAFA uh, agents not just in Labrador but right across this country you know uh, one day you know they're an agent for NAFA next day 
is done with. It's a loss to him, no doubt, and I really do feel bad for him. And uh, uh, I, was, I was going to mention something else as well. Uh, yeah, well, I was going to mention about the wood. I mean, really, uh, every chance I get right now, I've been getting uh, quite a bit of firewood because we haven't got much snow so far this year. And I'll tell you right now, Goose Bay gets a lot of snow. If we don't get it early in the season, we're going to get it late in the season. So I expect a lot of snow to spring and that fun cutting wood, you know, when you knock down a tree and he goes in the snow and you can't see him. So, like I always say, get when the getting is good, and that's what I'm doing right now. And I probably got enough firewood anyway, but I still might get another load or two and, uh, you know, put a little icing on the cake kind of thing. But, <coughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video, though. Uh, I really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, take care out there. Stay safe. Hope to see you all on the next one. Take care, Alvis, from the big man.